Hello, welcome to the Art Hitman, I'm Perry, and today I'm going to show you how to draw Kakashi from Naruto Shippuden. Alright, now for Kakashi, we're going to come down really low on the page with his head. And the reason being because his hair is styled in such a way where you don't want it to go off the edge of the page. So you want to come down, say about maybe three inches down, if you want to be accurate, three inches down on the page. You want to divide the page in half. And once you have your page divided in half and three inches down, you can go ahead and put Kakashi's head in. And you put two lines for his neck. and an oval shape for the base of his neck, like so. Now, as usual, or as I like to do it, you wanna measure the top of the head and the chin with the index and thumb, and place it to the left, mark it, do the same thing on the left side. I'm sorry, right and then left. And you take a line, from here to here to determine the width of his shoulders. Now, from here you wanna do a half oval off the page, just like this. You wanna take that head to chin width again, come down to the chin, mark it. This is where the chest line will come in and draw a line just like that. This is so you know where the chest is or it starts. Then you wanna put a circle in for his right arm then for his left arm, and then put a circle within that circle, and let the arm um, shoulder go off the page. Same thing with his right arm. Now, once we come back up to his head, you wanna divide and put the eye line in first. Then you wanna start with his headband, which comes on the side of his head like this. So you put two lines in, one on each side of his head. Then you wanna take and go half to the side of his face. Do the same thing from the top and meet the other side. And you should have a like this shape here. And it should be lopsided on an angle. Now when you're working on his hair, his hair is gonna start up with one spike here and come back down and stop and the way I do this is I actually do one arc for the actual head as you see it here we started here and you want to do another arc just over top of that where the spikes are going to come off right here so you see one and then two this is so that you don't have the spikes too close to his head make his hair look shorter than what it really is and then that way you know where to end the spikes so you want to come up and put another spike, spike number two. Okay. Then spike number three is going to come over like this, where the center line is, stop. Then you have spike number four, slightly on the angle. Then you have spike number five. It's going to come off the edge like this. Then you have spike number six. I'm gonna stop here because the other finer or smaller spikes they come actually over his headband so you want to have a spike that comes down over that like this then there's another one that comes off of it like this and then there's one in the middle in between here and here all right so now you should have his speed to have his hair in place here now once you have his hair done we can move down now and bring the bottom part of his face in And he has a flat chin, but it's very small, like this. It's not a wide uh, chin. And just bring the other side in, just like this. Now you wanna put his right ear in, and come down just like this. Now for his nose, his nose is gonna come kinda midway, right in here like this. 
and right at the bottom of the ear, you're gonna come up to the center line and then come down like this, just where his headband is or meets. Now you're gonna put his eye in. Now for his eye, you're gonna come in like this, come straight over. And you'll put his iris in or retina, just like this. And then put the bottom of his eye in. Now he has kind of like a lax look, so you wanna have a line come up like this and then down. And his eyebrow kind of peeks out the edge of the mask like this. Now he has on the, the bandana on his head, a emblem of some type of image that goes right in the center, just like this. You wanna put that in. And he has three ellipses here. So you want one, two, three. Do the same thing over here, one, two, and three. Now for his hair behind his head, you're gonna come down straight like this, up, down, up, and then over on his neck. And do the same thing here, but it's only two. Down, up, down again. For his ear, finish the detail on his ear by doing a reverse C, coming out, and then putting the line there like that. Now, now you've gotten his whole head done and you wanna put just where his ear is, he has uh, a collar that comes out on what he's wearing, just like this and come around the other side the same way. You can measure it by where his nose is and then come down like this. Now, the way I measure this is off the edge of his hair. So you can take a pencil and go down and the edge of, the uh, of his coat or his collar is gonna come right there. And then you come over, draw a line straight through like this, and then come down again. Now here is gonna get just a little bit technical because uh, Kakashi has a, an interested, and excuse me, an interesting uh, vest on, kind of like uh, Charlie from Street Fighter. Those of you who know who that character is, he wears a vest. So you wanna bring a line in like this and come straight down and repeat that line right here. And use your mechanical pencil for this portion of the drawing because it's a lot of thin lines that um, requires detail. Okay, so you wanna come up like this and for his neck, we're gonna bring a line in just like this to the center and do the same thing on this side. And then come over and connect to this line that I just brought up here. Now for the opposite side is the same thing. You repeat the same process, bring this line straight down Make sure with this pencil that is aligned with this, and you can rough that in if you, you know, to make it simpler. Put two lines in the center, just like this one and two. Come up on this side, do the same thing, repeat that. Come, had a line come up here, and his shoulder blade come in like this. And actually, want to make that even with the other shoulder, so I'm gonna erase that line and then come down like this. There we go, now it's even now. After that, the front of the vest, you wanna bring a line down like this, then a line down like this. And you want it to come from the edge of the inner part of the collar. And then just come around like this, all the way off the page. Same thing over here. His vest is open in the center. You wanna repeat that line right here and suggest that. And do the same thing over here, but make that line complete. And then come down and stop again, just like that. Uh, for the right shoulder, you want to come over, stop, and you want to, where I have this circle drawn here, you want to have a line come down just like this, underneath that circle. So this whole piece right here is going to mimic where his, the circle is for his shoulder. And the reason being is because he has shoulder pads on the vest. And you want to come around just like this, and if you notice, put a border around that square shape on his shoulder. Repeat the same thing on his left shoulder right right after that so that way you can kind of measure the distance of the shoulder pads on each side and how it wraps around the circle that i have drawn for his shoulder and do the same thing over here it's no bigger than the circles that you've drawn for his shoulders or i should say you could use the circles for reference points and if it's a little smaller you can always make adjustments later then after that you want to come straight down with the edge of his vest like this and do the same thing over here. 
And he has a button here, so you wanna come up under here and go a little darker and make a button there. And then do the same thing here. And for his shoulder, it continues out like this and comes straight down, do the same thing here. And he has like an outer ring on the outside of his arm here and here. What you wanna do is you want to make almost like a, a line that goes on a slant and curves and goes around like this, almost like a like you're gonna do uh, a spiral, just like this. As I follow my pencil, I pull back, then there's an end that comes out like this. And then there's a, it connects like this in the front and there's a closing to it that goes like this. And there's an opening there too, excuse me, I'll erase that there. And it comes around like this actually. Okay, so if you've drawn up to this point, we've gotten there. That means you drew Kankashi, and at this point I'm gonna clean all of these different things up that you see, finalize the drawing, and then I complete the drawing. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe by clicking this round button at the bottom. Also, click one of the two videos at the top. Please like this video, tell a friend, and share it on Facebook. Thank you. The Art Hitman.